What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here and I want to welcome you guys to yet another Munch Pack unboxing. This is for the month of June. I'm ready to get this bad boy going. I hope you guys are as well. Let's start. Let's get this puppy going. Alright, so let's take a look at the note. Who made this puppy for us? Who is in charge of this? I've actually think this guy made us a couple of them in the past, but hola adventurous eater. This Munch Pack was made with lots of love by Chris. Enjoy. Thanks a lot, Chris, my man. Let's go ahead and pop this off to the side and open up our first item, which is another one of those very jam-packed ones. I don't know if I'm really going to like these, uh, but we might as well give it a whirly bizzle. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure what these are, but... Oh, okay, well, there's sunflower seeds brittle with fructose. Actually, that might be kind of good. Let's take a look. It's like they're... Ah. Oh, my God. They're so sharp that they just rip through the bag. <laughs> oh my goodness. But essentially it just looks like sugar sun. Dude, these are sharp. Dude, I, I can't. They're, sh they're super sharp. Their sunflower seeds that have been coated in sugar. So therefore, well, fructose. It looks like, they look check, I think. I don't want to flip it too much and get it all over the place. Um, imported. US obviously it doesn't exactly say interesting hmm holy crap this whole bag is murder for you <laughs> 560 calories there bear with me while I while I gather my thoughts Hmm. Well, if you like sunflower seeds, you're gonna like these. Because they have that really sunflower seed flavor, but they're a little bit sweeter. So it's like a sweet and salty kind of a combination. People love their sweet and salties. Those aren't bad. I couldn't see myself eating a whole package just because of the calorie intake on that bad boy. is pretty insane for a snack. Like if this is all you're getting in an entire meal or snack, and you have 560 calories in there, you can get full meals that are about that size. I mean, my meals are pretty large in terms of calorie intake and like, you know, and based on the diet that I have. So I try to eat more in certain areas because uh, I get too skinny too quick. So uh, as you can see, I'm not the biggest dude on the planet. But anyway, um, yeah, so those taste good, but those are probably something that you might want to avoid if you're wanting to stay away from anything super, super crazy. So anyway, I don't know what these are exactly. But I'll give you guys a little look. Uh, Wawel Fistazoko, or whatever. I'm trying to see where they are from. This is another Polish uh, product. We've got quite a few of those guys, a lot of Polish ones. So they're all wrapped in, in this, so I can easily just kind of put this off to the side just like that, call it a day. Let's see. I think these are kind of like a toffee kind of a thing. Let's open it up and take a look. Interesting, actually. It's like those hard candy wafers. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, you know, it's like it's a hard, it's a hard material, but it's gonna be. Oh, that was a troll. Oh my god. Holy hell! I was not expecting that to happen. It's like a chocolatey peanut wafer thing. And damn, that's good. Oh my God, I thought I was expecting it to be a hard candy. But under light pressure or moderate pressure, it just kind of crippled in my teeth. That was a lovely experience. I don't know how else to tell you. That was good. And those are like little bite-sized ones. So they're, they're, they're wrappable, they'll stay fresh even with the package open. So that'll be nice to try. So that was good, I recommend that one. That was really solid. So if you can locate that, Go ahead and grab it. That's that was good. All right, we have ourselves a new Doritos flavor, Mas Producto, and it's flaming hot. Like, I've I've had a lot of these though, a lot of different Doritos that claim to be super hot, and they're basically the same flavor with, uh, you know, different, you know, from different areas. This could be Mexican. Yeah, this is this is a Mexican, so Mexico Dorito flavor. I have had a different flavor from Mexico that was Doritos. It was a, it was a red package. It was a different kind of hot. I think it was like a jalapeno hot. 
But if you guys remember, there were those those chips. I don't think they were Doritos, but they were very similar, and they were bright red chips. These ones are very similar. As you can see, they're, they're Doritos, but they're super red. But I feel like I've had these kind of Doritos before, just in a different colored bag. Whoa. Let's get one more to push the threshold a little bit. Essentially, whoa. Good gravy. There's some tingle in that, but it's not intrusive. Does that make sense? Like, it's a very warming sensation. It's not bad on the throat, but that is different. I can't say. It reminds me of a specific pepper, but I can't really remember the pepper. That's pleasant. Mmm. It tastes it, it tastes quite good too. You can really taste the spice. That's a good flavor. That's different. So remember the red one I mentioned that was bright red? That one's a little bit different than that. It tastes la that that last one was like a salsa. That's what it was. It was like a spicy salsa. This is a specific type of pepper that I'm not 100 percent sure on, but that that tastes good, man. I've never had well, I have had something like it, but. I can't recall what it is, but that's a that's a flavorful snack right there. All right, now these caught me by like I don't know what the hell these are. They look like some sort of corn-based product. They're like some sort of chip, if you will. They look like uh, I don't know, but the brand is I'll do my best to pronounce it. Prazinki Osmaku Papriki. So paprik paprika maybe. This looks like another uh, possibly Polish snack as well everything is in let's see yep it is polish as well yeah I'm, I'm, i know i can just tell the language by now so their snacks have been good so i'm curious to see how this one is going to be these are very interesting looking chips they're very light looking very very white very fluffy but they're all rippled so i don't know what kind of a sensation i'm going to be experiencing but let's give it a try Not for me. <laughs> that is so weird. They look crunchy, but they're soft. As soon as you like your like your the saliva gets to them, it like softens them. And that is a weird taste. I mean the chips are still good. It just tastes kind of tastes plasticky at the same time. I, I don't know about that one, guys. That is. I don't know if I like that. That's definitely a, you know, a shot out of left field there. So anyway, let's move on. I'm gonna keep going with the chip looking thing so that the taste doesn't change too dramatically. These, I don't think I've had before. Andy Caps, uh, Tasty Oven Baked Crunch, the hot fries. They're corn and potato snacks. Actually, I think I've seen these before. I think these are US based, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. These are an American snacks. You guys, a lot of you guys probably have already had these before. I can't say I've ever seen these. So this will be a new experience for me. I don't even think I've had them in the munch pack before. They're little fry things. They're very, very orange. They look like Cheetos. Hmm. They taste like... Actually, I don't know what they taste like, but they're not bad. I kind of like these. Hmm. Not too insane on the old... Uh, these are considered hot. The thing is, they're not hot whatsoever. Especially in comparison to these guys. But, they're still tasty. They have a nice taste to them. So that, that's, it's good. I mean, but like I said, they're, I hate it when, when people claim they're to be hot, but they're barely hot. Like, they should have like a, a little meter on there to let you know how hot they are. And they should always be, they're always down here. I guess if we're looking at your end, it'd be over here. Yeah. Low and then high. <laughs> On the little meter, the red hot meter. Um, but yeah, not a bad snack. I could, I've had better than that though, but they're still not that bad. All right, let's move on. I don't think there's any more chip based things. We're actually running through this one a lot faster than I thought. That's okay. So what we have here is Der. What is it? Der Gerard cracker sandwich. So it looks like it's like uh, two crackers with some cheese in the middle, and they've got like a pepper flavor to them. Give you guys a little look see at that. 
I'll have to see where these are from. Uh, the logo. <coughs> Excuse me. The logo. The language. Polish again. I thought so. I'm like, I know that. I know that language. So we have another Polish snack. Oh, this is a very Polish box, isn't it? Oh my god, this is actually stabbing me. There we go. So this is going to be more like a... You know... I prefer these kind of snacks, the ones that are... You know, kind of, you know, pre-dinner kind of snacks. I think they're a little better. But there's actually a piece of cheese in between it. Like, it's not like a cheesy paste or, you know, anything of that nature. Kind of like you get, like, a cheese Whiz or something like that. Or if you ever had a Ritz cracker, it's not like that. There's, like, an actual piece of cheese in there. So, I don't know. This is going to be a bit of a, a you know, a bit, a bit of a risk. We'll try it. Really, all I'm tasting is cracker. Let's try a different, different bite. Oh, I think I got some cheese there. Yeah, so the cheese is a little pepper to flavor -y, like it says. But, I gotta say, sorry, I don't mean to talk, my mouth open. Considering that's very crackery, it basically tastes like I'm just eating a pepper cracker, and the cheese isn't really there. I mean, it is there, but it's not very intense. So I don't really know what to make of that. I mean, it tastes fine, but nothing really unique about it. I've had crackers that taste just like that in the past. So I don't know. So far, this crate isn't, or sorry, this box isn't really. Oh, this pack, I should call it right. <laughs> this one isn't really jumping out at me as much as some of the other ones in the past. But let's keep going. There's still a few more items. This will be, I think, our last um, kind of cracker-based item, and the rest are all sweet uh, from what I can see. So this is a honey-made s'mores. This will be uh, sweet, but, in, you know, with the crackery type. Gramfuls. Gramfuls. I see what you did. Gramfuls. So it's like a handful, but the gramful. Graham crackers, because some people call them graham crackers. I guess that's what they are, graham crackers, but graham, I don't know, who cares? Um, these do look, I don't know, what are they? They're American, okay, that's what I thought. I didn't want to say they looked American just by the packaging and everything. You can usually tell when something is American or whatever, but, oh, it, it cut, it, I think, I don't know if it was meant to be cut in half like that, but that works perfectly, that way I could, have half for myself and save half for my girlfriend. But hopefully, I'm hoping for the best. Come on, USA. Yeah, I don't know. This could, this could be good. Nice s'more taste. We'll see. Yep. Mmm. I love these kind of flavors, man. This is the shit. Mm-hmm. You could say I have my grams full. Ha, <laughs> ha. I'm sorry. Real good though. Good job, boys. Oh man, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> I said this before. I'm a huge fan of the cocoa flavor. You know, not like extreme chocolate. Like, I'm sure everybody's had a snack where the chocolate is like so chocolatey that it feels like your teeth are staining. I've mentioned that before. There's a few snacks I've had that make you feel like that and you have to go brush your teeth like immediately after. There's very few that do that, but there are a few snacks that do that. The cocoa is more like a light flavoring. It's still nice, sweet, chocolatey taste, but it's not like chocolate all up in your face. You know what I mean? It's like a nice, ooh, that's really nice. I like that, you know what I mean? It's like one of those. And that's one of those with a bit of marshmallowiness in it and a graham cracker too. So that's, that's a thumbs up for me. That's, that's the best one so far. All right, so this next one, they're Nim 2s. This looks Polish as well. How correct am I on the Polish standards? Oh, I got wrecked. What? Made in Germany? But this language isn't, this isn't German. It's not in German. What the hell? Dude, I know what German looks like. This is not German. This looks, this also looks Polish, but it says Berlin. What? Dude, this is not German. No way. There's got to be another language somewhere, but they look like 
Like Nimchek. Like Nimchek? That's German? No, it isn't. But it says made in Germany. Maybe it's like a, a Polish snack that happens to be made in Germany. Oh, or, duh, it's German and it was sent to Poland. I'm sorry, I gotta be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I am such an idiot, I forget about that. So yeah, this probably is a German treat, <laughs> but it's just packaged for Poland. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Anyway, I'm sorry, that was a very stupid thing of me to say. So these are all hard candies. From what I can see, there's a few colors in here. Uh, is there a red one, or is it just these two? Yeah, it's just orange and yellow. So I'm gonna roll with the orange one, because I have a feeling about that. So it's a hard candy, but it's got a filling in it. So yeah, this tastes exactly like an orange, I'll bet the other one tastes like a lemon. Where you can literally suck a lemon. If you wanted to. Oh. A broken seal. Flavor's incoming. Eh. Damn it. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that sticks to your tea. You know what I mean? I like wraps underneath. I've had a million things like that before. Hard candy with like that chewy interior. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Not bad, but again, so far most of the stuff here I've had before in a different manner, except for these Doritos. That's pretty unique. I can't say I've had anything like that. But let's keep going. More sweet stuff coming your way, guys. Okay, I don't know how this is going to be, but... Oh dear, sugar candies out of Mexico. I don't know if it is or not, but it certainly looks like it. Degardos, oh God, sour candy powder, or powder. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you a little look. It's probably like a sour pop, but a little bit, you know, a little different. It's got the handle, so I gotta, I gotta unwrap it. Open here, if you can get it. Do you have my scissors? Yeah, I do. All right, we got that. We're taking the whole damn packaging off, man. We're not, <laughs> not, they're like, we don't want any trace of this. All right, so yeah, just see, it looks like an old film canister. People, like, I don't think people are really gonna know because in the 90s, they had these film canisters. They didn't have this little handle, but they had like a little sc screw top, like on the top here. They are about the same size as this, and you just uncapped them and you put your film in there, your camera film. Okay, here we go, so it twists off. Oh dear, I don't know, man. I see sugar crystals. It's a little shovel. I mean, that's adorable. I'll show you. It's a little shovel. <laughs> little shovel. Oh god. Oh dear. Are we gonna have more of this? Okay, you know what? It's not as bad as I was expecting. It's very blueberry flavor. But I think I've had enough. It's too sweet for me. But it's not like that that one that we had way back when. You remember that like powdered pouch of salt or sugar salt crap? Like it was so gross. But this tastes a lot like just the powder of you know those ring pops where you know you put it on and then you can dip it. Yeah, it tastes like the powder of that without the ring pop to dip it in. That's exactly what this tastes like. So it's nothing new as well. But I was expecting it to be taste like ass or something. Thank God it didn't. All right, only two more items left, guys, and they're both sugary. This is Finny Roller Candy. I've had something like this before. Uh, California. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Calabasas. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. We're probably not gonna eat the whole thing, obviously. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. It's, it's like a a big roll. Oh man, getting sugar everywhere. Oh, this is actually quite good. <laughs> no, there's so much sugar. Okay, that's all I'm having. It was too messy. <laughs> Not bad though. Wipe my hands off. It's like a, a pile of sugar right there on the table. 
See, this kind of stuff, though, is the kind of stuff that actually makes your, te your teeth feel sore. It's so sweet that it makes your teeth feel sore and you don't really want anymore. Um, at least as you get older. I mean, kids probably would love this stuff, you know what I mean? They'd probably just eat that shit up, literally. So, as you can see, I'm sitting, well, you can't really see it, but you got, like, all this salt, or sugar, sorry, and I'm putting it in a line like cocaine. That's just not good. Don't do that. <laughs> I made that joke already when it was relevant. So anyway, we'll just leave that there. And there's one more item to go, and everybody, well, oh, I thought this was Sour Patch, but it isn't. It's Sour Punch straws. So it could be the same brand for all I know. Give you guys a little look there. Sour Punch straws, so like, uh, you know what I mean? You got Sour Punch. <laughs> Gonna nay nay. Okay. All right, so let's take a look. I think this is a, an American product, so, uh, yep. I've seen these before. Uh, not, like, not enough for a while I've seen these, so I am familiar with them. Uh, so I know we can get them here. I probably go down to a local store and grab them. But uh, essentially, they are like Twizzler-sized straws without spilling all the sugar. I'll see if you guys can see that. Of different colors. Oh, jeez. I don't want to take the whole thing out. I just want to take one out. But you need to take the whole thing out just to access it. Alright, so here's an example. Does it actually have an opening? Yes, it does. So you can probably stick this in your already sugary drink and, you know. A lot of sugar in this one. That's okay. Honestly, there's just so much sugar in this one. I'm actually kind of surprised how much sugar there is. But yeah, these things aren't like crazy. They're, they're okay. Now my hands are covered. So that's fantastic. And we're out of like paper towels, so I can't wipe my hands properly. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for watching this month back. This one didn't really have as many unique flavors as... as I was hoping, I'd say my favorite ones were probably the Doritos, uh, the Mexican Doritos with that crazy spice, and then of course the uh, the s'mores, or the gram, gram, gram fulls, those are really good. A lot of sugar here, I, I mean personally I don't need that much sugar, uh, oh and also these guys here, these orange ones here, those are really good. Uh, so for the most part though, a lot of sugar in this one, a little too much for my taste. But hell, it lets us try out other things that are out there. And some of these things I've never had, and I'm glad I got a chance to try them. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very, very much for watching this Munch Pack. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit that like button. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description. I'll play at the end card of this video. Also, you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Plus, if you want to get your own Munch Pack, there's the link right in the description right on top. It'll take you straight there and be, and be sure to check that out. And if you want, they have different sizes for you. You know, this is the regular version. There's also a, a smaller version and a uh, family pack, family size as well. So depending on what you want to get, there's that too. So yeah, check that out if you're interested. But that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon for some more content coming your way. But until then, let's hand things over with my sticky hands to Knox Hill. See you guys later. Who's the man with the plan? You feel trouble while and wild on these violent and hit you eight thousand. Wait a minute, hold that style is now Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, see shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up and I see them haters try to run with us and don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get life savored. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers, just press. Play off, keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.